God, was hard to find on our visit to Kyiv's northern suburbs, which Russia occupied for weeks. Much of what we found will be difficult to watch. Behind St. Andrew's Church, there is a sandy trench, not quite full, of civilian residents of the town of Bucha. Ukraine stopped the Russians here, 45 minutes from the center of the capital city. The Russian retreat was so hasty, it seems there was no time to cover up the war crimes. President Zelensky visited Bucha two days before our interview. What did you see in Bucha? Death. Just death. Last Monday was the first time Zelensky saw with his own eyes what Russia has done in what Vladimir Putin calls the liberation of Ukraine. The day after our interview, we found civilian neighborhoods in Bucha, blocks and blocks, shelled and blasted with no purpose but terror. Bodies and parts of bodies lay in the streets, left out like trash, Zelensky told us. No one knows how many victims are still in their homes, yet to be found. There's a photograph, Mr. President, of you in Bucha with an expression on your face that you have not allowed your people to see during this war. And I wonder what we're seeing there. Is that heartbreak? Is it anger? It's anger. It's anger. Because we don't understand the Russians. You can't really understand this world, that there are people on this planet who give these orders and people who carry them out. In Bucha, neighborhood relief for the hungry and the homeless looked like World War II in color. Valery Matvienko was so angry about the senseless Russian bullet wound in his leg, we can't repeat what he told us in English. Some of the Russians were normal, some of them were totally crazy. You could walk and they would shoot, sometimes up in the air, sometimes at your legs, so you'd have to jump in front of them. Cars were run over by Russian tanks. Very brutal, not human. Can you tell me? We met Tatiana Dimitrevna, who compressed the occupation into a single word. Horror. Horror, she said. Gunfire was nonstop day and night. Thanks to God, it all passed and we survived. It's simply a miracle. I had two grandchildren with me in the basement. I never thought I would live to see this horror. Mr. Zelensky told us that he couldn't believe that human beings could do something like this. We never believed it either. We are simply in shock, all of us.